Hey and welcome to Ninja Build Reviews and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Autobot Pipes and here he is and as you all know I am not a few, huge fan of this mold he looks fantastic though I will give it that he looks great okay so uh, before we get into the robot here we will look at the packaging and this is the box it says Autobot Pipes up there Takara Tomy Generations Transformers up the side Love the artwork going on here. Love that wraparound artwork from the alt mode to the robot mode. Really dig that. Looks really good. Deluxe class. Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy. A plus Hasbro on the side. Fantastic artwork going on, on there. There in the back. Got some product shots going on. Take 17 steps. Hasbro. Legal stuff. So yeah. Top of the box. Bottom of the box. There we go. Moving on. <laughs> and we'll bring back in him. And I do like this guy. I do. Um, no, that's a lie. I, I don't. <laughs> um, look, I, I, I'm, I'm just not a fan of... It's not that I'm not a fan of the character. I don't have a lot of ties to the character. I just... I don't... And a lot of people love this mold, okay? So, you know, it's a good mold. I just don't like the alt mode, okay? That's what throws me off. The robot mode looks great. It does. It, it looks great. It's not quite straight. There we go. It does. I, I, it just, it's not for me, okay? Uh, and, and if people out there really, really like it, hey, more power to them. I like to paint it in wheels. I dig that a lot. Blues, whites. Got a pretty clean head sculpt. Let's get right up in there and take a look. Blue eyes, silver, background, I like that. Good clean head sculpt. I like that. Mine's a little bit dusty. There we go. It's really, really, you know, just a little bit dusty. <laughs> He's been just sitting around because I've been avoiding. There we go. Nice brush. I always recommend getting a brush. There we go. Maybe a little bit dusty. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, he's okay. He's okay. He looks pretty good. It's just the old mode I don't care for, all right? Uh, um, I didn't like Huffer either, so, you know. Uh, um, and this is the only other iteration of that mode that I have. Um, thanks to my brother for picking it up. And he does look good. I do, I do like the transformation steps. I'm not going to show the transformation. We Everybody has seen it before. This is just a quick down, dirty review uh, of this toy. Um, I like it. Articulation-wise, we'll pull back a little bit more. Head will turn on. It looks, feels like it's a mushroom peg or a ball peg. Um, but no real up, no real down. You do get the swivel. Arms will go all the way around. You, you know, move that back kibble a bit. Go out to the side that far. Basically all the same articulation of the first one. Bicep swivel. 90 degree elbow. Go ahead and take this off. We'll look at the accessories afterwards. Go ahead and take this off. There you go. So same on the other side. Oh, and the wrist articulation will go in and out due to transformation. So no wrist articulation. Do got a waist swivel, although mine is really tight. Legs will only kick out that far, which is a shame. Forward that far. Back that far. Again, I don't like that mold because of what they how they did this. Uh, um, legs real deep knee bend there and you know up or down on that foot you got a heel that can go down uh, that'll help and it does help in somewhat and you've got a nice rocker going on there so you know not a bad mold uh, robot mode is you know I, I like the robot mode and so I keep him in robot mode I don't pose him or keep him you know in his alt mode it's it's just not for me. Uh, real quick, he comes with two accessories, two silver, you know, pipes. So, I believe it is white plastic painted silver. Yeah. Here's the other one. So, you get two of them. And, of course, they can go into any of the following ports. There, there, there. There. Uh, on the bottom of his feet, if you like. So, yeah. So, that's it in a nutshell, and I a uh, real quick comparison. There he is with Slammer. Uh, let's 
bring in an RID sound wave. I just knocked off his. Well, this thing is just rough. There we go. I... There we go. <laughs> this is not my favorite of the red red series. There we go. Something. Yeah. RED sound wave. <laughs> um, why not? I, I, I had him out because I was talking about him in a live show, and this is the original Buzzsaw. So, Beast Wars Buzzsaw, that's the original. Pretty cool. One of my favorite iterations of the Waspinator mold. So, really dig that. Really dig that. The new one doesn't have green wings. Why, I don't know, but, I mean, the original toy, as you saw, had green wings. The new one does not. Shame on you, Hasbro. Shame on you. Anyway, there he is. Let's get that out of there, and we. I will be right back with the vehicle mode. And here we are, and here he is in his vehicle mode, and... <sighs> Look... I am not a fan of this, okay? I don't like this huge gap in here, and it looks like it's bent. I mean, it, you know, it looks bent. I mean, look at that. The frame looks bent. It looks curved. <laughs> I mean, just sitting there, it looks curved. Yes, it's flat. All the wheels roll. They're flat on the surface, but it looks bent. I mean, it's just, it looks, I, I dislike this mold, okay? I, you know, I, I do. I, I dislike this mold. Um, he does look good. I mean, you know, there's no denying that. He does look good. For some reason, my... Let's see if I can adjust this a little bit more. There we go. I knew that color was off. The brightness was off. But there you go. Yeah, I mean, he's painted really well. I like that. It's just... <sighs> Got some rear lights on there. There's the bottom... There's the top. This is not quite done. Well, there we go. It's just I don't like his hands. I I just don't like this mold, folks. I, I I just do not like this mold. And I'm sorry sorry if you disagree. I just do not like it. You can also store these right there, right there, or like I like to do. I like to store them here on back because um, I think it looks ridiculous sitting up up over here. I just I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, I'm not a real big fan of this, so, you know, this wheel gets a little stuck. So does this one, it's because of the way this transforms here. So, again, I'm just, I'm not a fan of this mold. This mold. I'm just, I'm just not. It's it's limited, and I, 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 don't, I don't know. It's limited. <laughs> so, anyway, quick comparison, we'll set him over there. There is the 86 cup. Um... You know, it it scales. I mean, it's I'm just I'm just not a fan of this, I, and I'm sorry I'm not. I, I do like the black in there, the white. I like the colors. Okay, I do. I like the colors. Generally, the figure is really good. All right, uh, um, it's not perfect, uh, and and the flaws really show up here in the alt mode. Like I said, it looks it standing here, because look at that. It looks like it's curved in on itself. But it's sitting flat. It is flat. And then it's got this big, huge gap in there. I, I just... I, I, I dislike this mold. Okay, so... Anyway, this has been my look at the Transformers Kingdom uh, Autobot Pipes and... Um, or Cybertron Autobot Pipes. And, you know, is he worth picking up? Uh, I'll leave it up to you. Um, I recommend it. Uh, um, generally speaking, I recommend it if you haven't already picked it up. I imagine everybody has by now. Like I said in my uh, um, New Gundam review, um, from here going forward, if there's going to be a lot of older, uh, uh, you know, toys from previous lines coming up on the channel because of lots of the legacy line I'm not really interested in, to be quite honest. Uh, uh, um, I'm not really looking to get any of them. The ones that I did want, I already have. Skids. Uh, um, bulkhead, laser prime, I picked those up, so I do have, um, drag strip and kickback coming, I do have that, I don't have them right now, they're over at my brother's, uh, um, so, I do got those coming, I just keep, 
uh, with gas prices the way they are, traveling to and fro is really expensive. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and uh, uh, check out my playlist. Click that like button, please, please, helps the channel grow. I'm hoping to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I doubt it's going to happen, um, but it'd be nice. Uh, um, I'm looking to break that 1,000 mark uh, this year. Doubt it's going to happen. Anyway, uh, if you feel like donating the channel, please, please click that Patreon link down in the description and above everything else. Be good to each other.